Welcome back to the Mansion Poker.com. Poker Dome Challenge. It's audience participation poker. There's our audience. They look in at our players. The players, of course, on the other side cannot see out. Here's our chip count where we stand right now, and our chip leader continues to be Keith Hubbard at 87,000. Tim Jeffries has been right there all evening long at 74,000. Randy McKay, the most experienced tech player, at 65,000 chips. He's played conservatively but effectively. Prelip at 51,000 as well. Kaufman is our short stack at 23,000. Rise to 10. This is going to be interesting here, I think. Well, Kaufman's going to have a heck of an opportunity to double up and really accumulate some chips that he's lost along the way here. It's going to be tough for Jeffrey to get away from this hand due to the fact that Kaufman is so short stacked. Eight. I call. And Hubbard's going to call with a king nine. Well, an interesting call there from Hubbard. He's got some chips to play with, though. Kaufman will go all in. I mean, there are no better time. He is a favorite here. And unfortunately, Jeffrey is not getting the right price in this situation. It's going to cost him 23000 but he's getting a little bit better than 3 to 1. Call. Unfortunately, though, one of his kings is dead. Yeah, and you can see what an underdog he is. And now the onus falls on Hubbard. And Hubbard's going to let the two of them fight it out. It's great. Doug Kaufman with a very good opportunity here. Three, four, ten, three clubs, but that doesn't help. No, it doesn't. No. Kaufman just needs to dodge running clubs or a king. There's a five. A deuce. There are two kings left. And Kaufman has just doubled up. And a timely double up at that. Yeah. And good survival skills. He actually did more <laughs> than double up because remember Hubbard was a part of the deal here for a while too. So make move. It's one of your nine lines. That is that is suited king too. To just suited king. Yeah. New life for Kaufman. I really expect him to be a factor now. There's nothing better than getting short stacked and then coming right back and getting back in the ball game. What well, could come at a better time for him? You get 10. Prelip and ace jack. You almost always have to play this hand aggressively, thin the field out, and see if there's a better hand out there. And Jeffrey now again has to ponder do I stick around here? And he won't. Well, he, he was getting just under 3 to 1 odds in that situation, but king six off is just such a marginal hand you don't know if you're dominated or if you're just beat with a better hand such as ace call a jack 10 suited jeffrey ace nine well well prelip limps in here with jack 10 suited under the gun and that's one of those hands that you want to entice other people to come into the pot it's a hand that really plays sure. better against the large field rather than a heads-up hand. Pretty even hand as you can see. 7-8 jack, prelip's caught a pair. Great flop for prelip. He flops top pair in a gut shot straight draw. Jeffrey with a just a gut shot sure. straight draw. 10,000. Prelip gonna bet it out here. That's going to make it very difficult for Jeffrey to peel one off. He has an over card and a gut shot straight draw, but you really don't want to make this call for that many chips. And sure enough, neither Jeffrey nor McKay does, and Prelip will take it down. Let the games begin. 